what's going on YouTube Shaba here um, got this new pre-workout here Razor 8 and uh, I want to tell you how I felt about this pre-workout so let's get started on my opinion so the company that made it is uh, called uh, All Max and uh, I've tried the protein it's pretty good but uh, the pre-workout um, Hmm, I would say, well, let me tell you, first of all, the packaging. The packaging is okay. It's not like a C4 Shelly Core packaging or a Neurocore packaging, but it's pretty good. I like the packaging. I mean, it's not the best. They didn't take too much time on it. But, yeah, that's what I feel for the packaging. Um, I would say packaging is a 6 out of, a six out of 10. Where in terms of, uh, let's see, C4 Core, its packaging, I would say, would be 9 out of 10, or even 10 out of 10. Sorry about that, that was my grandma speaking in the background. I just shut the door. I'm actually in my backyard right now. It's a beautiful day out. But uh, anyway, let's continue with the uh, review. Taste-wise, uh, it's first of all, it's the uh, triple berry flavor. Um, it's kind of sour. It has this uh, tangy taste to it, but uh, I like it. The taste is good. Uh, not the best it's not that sweet but um, I don't know I, I like the taste I would say 8 out of 10 in terms of taste um, they also came up with this um, is it lemonade flavor or something like that I heard it's supposed to be better but I tried this one um, the guy actually recommended it when I went to the mass nutrition store it's this uh, local nutrition store uh, close to my area but anyway um, so yeah uh, taste is 8 out of 10 um, next off is the ingredients. Got a lot of stuff in here. Uh, I got like yohimbine, um, L-arginine of course, and uh, let's see, a lot of caffeine. I would say it has the most caffeine from any other pre-workout I've tried. And uh, hmm, two grams of sugar. Um, calories, it got eight calories, which is not bad at all if you're looking to uh, stay fasted while you're working out or let's say if you woke up first thing in the morning and all you had is this but yeah um, the only problem I have with this is the beta alanine it has a very little amount of beta alanine like about 25% of uh, the re your regular um, pre-workout ingredients um, but yeah, that's what I feel about the ingredients. But um, it's okay that it, it doesn't have that much uh, beta alanine. It, what it lacks in beta alanine, it makes up in uh, the stimulants, definitely. Energy-wise, it's really good. Um, have energy throughout the workout. Today I blasted some chest, and uh, I had a really good workout. The price of it is uh, pretty much uh, same as any other pre-workout. Got this for uh, 45 bucks. But what I like about this, it has uh, 80 servings. Or in terms of uh, your regular pre-workout has about uh, 40 servings. But uh, I don't know. I guess maybe it's because they didn't put enough beta alanine. Caffeine's cheap. I don't know. My opinion. Um, but yeah. That's one thing I really love about it, the fact that it has 80 servings in it. Um, it's, I'm not even halfway done, and I've been using it for two months now. So that's a good reason to buy it. Um, the, the last thing I want to, well, not the last thing. Pump-wise, I would say it's not that good. Um, it has, sure, it has some creatine in it, and uh, L-arginine, a little bit of beta-alanine, but Pump wise, if you're looking for a great pump, don't buy this. If you're, if you're looking for something in terms of lots of energy, keep you focused throughout the workout, which is more important than any pump, I would say. Uh, <clears throat> definitely get this if you want a great energy pre-workout. But uh, yeah, that's my review and uh, hope it was informative to all the viewers. But anyway, peace.